Hey guys, Aaron Moore 4x4. Just wanted to go through this amazing uh, 79 series Land Cruiser that we've we've just done a heap of work on for for Rodney. So I'll just turn it around now and we can just walk through a few things. Um, not sure how the sound is going. It's a bit cold and cold and uh, and a bit windy here in that beautiful Brookvale today, but. Just uh, persevere. Thanks so much for tuning in. I love you guys and this, all the support that you're giving us. So here we go. Okay, uh, so um, 79 series, uh, 20, 2019 model. Uh, it's a Merlot, Merlot color, uh, as you can probably see. Um, so what do we got? Uh, we've got ARB, ARB Deluxe Bar, color coded. Intensities, ARB intensity. Uh, we have a, actually I'm not sure what, what winch went in there, but we've got a Factor 55, Factor 55 uh, winch hook. So these are really, really good uh, for, for um, um, uh, robustness. You can, you can put it, you can put a, put a hook on there as well. Um, and they pull against, they pull nicely against the front of the, the fair lead, uh, the horse fair lead. So, uh, so there are, uh, uh, actually, there you go. Worn. Sorry. Uh, so basically, they're uh, uh, makes it much easier to deal with too. Um, yeah, really, really robust. They look cool. It matches the colour. Uh, so what else do we have? We've got Safari Armac snorkel. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that's the best snorkel that's on the market today for for um, for uh, Land Cruiser. Uh, we've noticed. We've noticed our power gains straight away from just from fitting these because that ram head there is he's more effective at getting air into the vehicle, uh, into the engine, uh, and that'll just consume heaps more air. Uh, clear view, uh, clear view mirrors, uh, power mirrors. So uh, I don't think that these ones actually are uh, power retractable, but they're they're power power adjust, which is great. So gets rid of the uh, the horrible standard standard mirrors. Uh, side step, uh, ARB side steps, color coded. They're amazing, especially this this connection point here. Gone are the days where you've got these these uh, these clamp systems that wrap all the way around. These are just a really really neat design. So love them. They're really really good to fit too. So as you can see on the top here, also we have some intensity uh, uh, light bars on the Rhino rack. I cannot see a bloody thing that I'm filming up there, so, so I, I hope that I hope that showed you something. So what else have we done? We have done a 4.2 ton GVM upgrade with a coil conversion. So for anyone who hasn't seen this vehicle, it's coil conversion. So we have here. King shocks, amazing, adjustable. So I don't know if you can hear that click up there, but effectively that uh, that gives us control over the shock. Um, so so as as a client as a client loads it up, he's normally got a he's normally got a body that goes on the back there. As he loads it up, he can dial them in. So this is actually so this is a J Max this is a J Max core conversion. So uh, we've been working with J Max for a while. Uh, we haven't done too many of their core conversions, but we're doing more and more of them, and we find them really, really good to deal with. So uh, the business end is down the back here. So let me head down here. So uh, let me just get up here. So under the back here is a core conversion, which is awesome. It rides so well. And, and also because because we've got the, I can't get up in there now, but up in the top, up in there. I don't know if you can actually see them. Uh, you can kind of see them up there. Uh, is the is the remote reservoir, and uh, and the adjust, and the adjustable function. So comes with the sway bar. I'll get around there in a sec. You can see the sway bar through there. Oh, there you go. So you can see the. See the, the king socks down there, the, the red adjuster knobs. So that that's great. So when he puts his canopy on, he can really he can really dial that in to to suit the rod quality that that he likes. All right, so there's the panard rod. 
all the subframe assembly, all the color coded subframe assembly up there. That's really cool. We got that. Uh, we got that um, um, spec'd out for the color that he wanted to. We tuned that. We, we color coded the subframe and everything. Uh, so that he wanted the. Um, he wanted. He wanted that color. Pretty cool, right? Uh, what else we got? We have Pcor wheels. Patriot Campers off road. They're 17 by 9, load rated to 1500 kilos. So because of the because the the, the rear axle rating has gone up um, to 27 2700 kilos, I think we need we need these these wheels. So 4200 kilo GVM upgrade needs alternate wheels. So just make sure that if you're getting a, a, a big GVM upgrade on the 79 series that you that you're getting you're getting the uh, the wheels and tire combination to match so these tires are dick CPEC relatively un, un, unheard of in this country 3170 315 17 and really really high load rating as well so that all matches the load rating um, uh, for this vehicle what else uh, Torque at three and a half inch system from DPF back, which is um, which gives a nice note. I haven't I don't know how much extra power, but it um, this car goes good anyway because we've remapped it. So this is underneath the vehicle, extra fuel filter, and underneath the vehicle. How good does that look, eh? We, ha we have to go for, a, for an aftermarket system, aftermarket exhaust, because you can see how, sorry, how tight that is, and how, how tight it is up and over the diff, right? So this is, is this diff is, is what you call five link. So it has five, five links. So one, two, three, four, and then the panel rod makes five link. So uh, just anyone who has ever wanted to know what that term is, that's what it is. Okay, exhaust, exhaust. And so there's the original DPF. Here's the arms. So yeah, let me just get out of here. This is our front yard, by the way. Let me see if I can just back up here. So, we've got like a rockery in there that we uh, occasionally we get the excavator in, in here and mess it up a bit, change it around. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah, anyway, that's what that is. Thought you guys might like to, to see what it is we've been up to. So yeah, tell us what you think. Thanks guys.